So this is my second test. I had uh, initially had a stepper motor, I'm sorry, a, a servo stuck into this recessed hole. Um, that didn't work out really well. There was too much flexing going on and uh, didn't get good action on that. So what I did now is I took a uh, those little can of kit stepper motors, the little cheapies that you can get pretty much anywhere and uh, just uh, uh, drilled out a little hole through the board here and uh, recessed it just slightly. There's nothing holding it in right now so I gotta push my uh, push the thing over with my fingers here. But what's going on is I've got stepper test, uh, I'm sorry, motor party from Adafruit running on this Arduino here. And uh, it's an Arduino Uno with the uh, Adafruit motor shield uh, on it. And here's what happens. So I'm going to pull the, the little rubber wheel. It's just um, you know, a little rubber tube that's going to run against the rim, the inside rim here. You just got to get it to the right place. Of course, this is just a test, so I, wouldn't, I haven't done it very professionally or anything like that. But, you know, for a quick, quick and dirty test, this works really well. And there's a lot of power on it, especially in the micro-stepping mode. See, you can hear it jitter a little bit because it's not perfectly straight. It's sort of binding in the in the slot there. But when it when I get it just right, it works really well, and I've got good resolution on this. It's uh, very accurate. I think it's going to do very well uh, in a turret setup. And uh, for those of you wondering, I've I had to do a lot of research and a lot of. Uh, searching online for the uh, the wiring diagrams for these uh, stepper motors. In fact, it wasn't the the actual can of kit one that was a problem. I got a generic oops, that's the can of kit one. Anyways, this one is a, a different brand. This is sort of a uh, it says Mercury motor. I had to write the wiring down on there. Now it's pretty funny. I just did all that messing around with it and it's still working a little bit at least. Anyways, what I wanted to show was the wiring schematics come out of here. I did attach leads, but I kept them the same colors and here's how they go. On motor test, you need the red wire is A. Put that on the top of M4 there. Uh, the green wire is C. Second one down is C. Hook that up to the the second terminal there on M4. The yellow wire is B and you hook up hook that up to the uh, the second from the bottom post on M3 and of course the blue wire then is D and that goes on the farthest uh, one down on M3 there, the last post down. And uh, it's very important also to make sure that you have an external power supply powering all this because your Arduino will never ever drive it on its own. So I've got the 9 volt battery hooked up to it. It's about as quick and dirty as you can get. In fact, now that the 9 volt battery is powering all this, I can actually unplug the Arduino from the USB source and it just keeps going. That's the beauty of these uh, Arduino setups, or part of the beauty is that uh, you can have a, a separate power source and everything keeps on working. In fact, there's a little reset button underneath that if I could get to it with my fat fingers I would be able to show you that. You just hit reset and it, it reboots. But it's all running off this 9 volt battery right now and quite well I gotta admit. So I think I'm gonna stick with this concept and uh, move forward to the next part of the turret.